Hello and welcome to another video. There are many different ways of converting our images into a black and white, but one of my favourite methods has to be the gradient map. Now we can apply it as an adjustment by clicking on this icon here, or you can head up to layer, coming down to new adjustment layer and across the gradient map. There's another way as well, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But for now, when we click on gradient map, we get this rather intriguing looking red, green and blue RGB. But looking at it closely, if I just move it down a little bit, let's switch it off. Where we got the reds, that's predominantly in the blacks. Where we got the greens was very much in the midtones. And where we had the blues was in the highlights. Let's just switch it back on and you can see there it is, the highlights, the midtones and the blacks. So we're going to use this to set up our black and white. Now the first thing we need to do is click on the center. I'm now going to press delete. Okay, I'm going to head over to red. I'm going to come down to color and with the color wheel, I'm going to take it right into the corner for the blacks, heading straight up to blue. Once again, clicking on color, this time taking it right into the corner for the white. There is the start of our black and white. We've now got whites in the image, We've now got blacks in the image. We can't move these sliders. If you come over to the blacks, watch what happens when I click down here. These two little buttons will become live. Now it's insert. This is the important one. When you click on insert, in goes another button, halfway between the two, 50%. We've now got mid-tone gray. And with this, yes, we can move it. So we can make the image lighter by introducing more of the lighter pixels, taking it to the left hand side, taking it to the right hand side, you introduce more of the darker pixels, making the image darker. But I'm going to take this back to, I'm going to go to 50%. Right, let's park it there. Okay, coming across to blacks. Now, as we've seen, we can't move these, but I'm going to bring my cursor right onto the side, double clicking, in goes another little grab handle. 2% is the position. This time I can introduce more of the black pixels. Let's take it back here. Coming across to the whites, gonna bring my cursor out to the side, perhaps out a little bit more, double click in, in goes another slider. This time we can move it in, introducing more of the whites into the image. Let's park it here. Right, we're now gonna add this as a preset so we don't have to go through that entire process every time we want to produce a black and white. So clicking on add preset, it's asking us for a name. Yeah, I guess what I'm gonna call it. Black and white, and you thought I was gonna say mono. Right, press enter or return or click on okay. I'm now gonna press delete. Remember I said there was a third way to access it? Well, let's head over to this little tab here for the adjustments. We're gonna come down to gradient map, there it is open. There was the default, that red, green, and blue. You've also got ultraviolet, you've also got nuclear, and there is our black and white. When I double click, there it is, back, and everything is exactly as we set it up. While we're here, if you just right click, you can rename it. You can even delete it should you want to, but we're gonna leave it as it is. Coming over to the layer, let's move this up out of the way. Okay, having a look around, let's just make it a little bit brighter, perhaps introduce some of the darker pixels in. I'm just going to bring that in a touch as well. And yeah, into that position there, that could be a really good black and white. Now, the other reason I like this method so much is I want to just give a little bit of subtle tone into it. So I'm gonna come down to color, now I'm going to change it from the color wheel. I'm going to go to hue. I'm going to move this across. You can see we've got all of these colors, all these tones. You get a little bit of a heads up there as well, showing you exactly what colors you're on. I'm going to take it to this sort of area. I'm going to come to my cursor. We're going to move it out, perhaps something like this. Now with all of this, you can move it into whatever position you fancy, but I'm going to go for something like that. We can now come back over to it. You can move it, you've got all of these tones here, perhaps even a sauna type there. That looks really good, doesn't it? It actually suits the image nicely. But I'm gonna come back into this sort of area. Yeah, I like that. While we're here, let's add a preset. So I'm gonna call this what it is, which is, uh, I'm gonna call it dark sepia, because I've got a feeling I might produce a few more sepias. Just press enter or return to apply it. 
Right, now we can start to explore and we're going to move this into that sort of area. And the whites, I've got a feeling they're pretty, yeah, much as they are. Incidentally, with any of these, if you want to add another color, for example, if I just double click here, I'm going to click down. Let's change this. Let's go for a little bit. I'll tell you what, let's try those blues and just move it down slightly into the, the blue area there. And you can see the way the tones coming around here and here so you can explore you can experiment you might want to have a this is a way of producing rather than just going for a sepia you can have a duo tone you can have a tritone you can put whatever tones you want in there entirely up to you and i'm just going to click on it again and press delete because i think i will just stay with this one but it just goes to show how flexible this can be let's just drop it down a little bit in that area yeah happy with that Right, let's close it down out of the way. One more thing, don't forget you've also got a layer mask with this as well. So let's pick up the paintbrush. Now I have got 100% opacity and flow hardness is 25%. There's the size, should be ideal. I've got black as the foreground color. So let's come down here, get a little bit of a preview as well. So you can add some selective coloring should you want to. So just bring back his fire into that area will do nicely and there it is so what else can we do oh, i know what if you wanted the black and white well we can come up to adjustments we can come down we can double click you can try it black and white and we can just make a few adjustments with this and just add a little bit more blacks into it and just try it out until you see which one you prefer I'm just going to close that down i'm going to double click i'm going to go back for the toned Right, so closing it down out of the way, let's go back to the layers. And there it is. As I said, it's got to be one of my favorite ways of creating a black and white. I love adding a little bit of tone to it as well. But go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe. Plenty more videos to come and click that little bell icon. That way you'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.